Today we're going to be kind of talking about a bit of a sad subject, but I'm going to show you how to make a roller bottle uh, blend for grieving and just talk about some other essential oils that are really helpful for grief. So grief, you know, as we know, you move through some different stages. Nobody grieves the same way. But I wanted to talk about this for a couple of reasons. Number one, I have experienced extreme amounts of grief in my life and essential oils have helped. In fact, uh, we had to put our dog of 18 years down uh, back in 2021 and I'm still grieving over that. And I made a special spray that I could use uh, both on the way to the veterinarian's office and afterwards and it was so helpful. And the reason is is because certain chemicals in the essential oils hit our limbic system and go to work on the emotional center of our brain. And we can see this clearly when animals smell something. Uh, well it's the same for humans only we are not as reactive I guess as animals are. Well maybe we are sometimes. But I was asked to make this blend and um, for a lady and she's really having a hard time and I thought that I would just go ahead and just talk about this topic. It's not a topic I talk about very much. Um, but before I start, I want you to know that I'm with Healing Harvest Homestead. I'm the main teacher and the owner and I over there have hundreds of articles that you can go take a look at and I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's a really great channel and I've got, like I said, tons of articles and they're all indexed. So you can find things pretty easily I also want to invite you to pick up your fall favorite diffuser blends. This is amazing. Uh, it will give you some easy things to uh, create that smell really beautiful in your home. And the other thing I'd like to invite you to pick up, and both of these will be in the first comment or in the description below, um, is my five favorite herbal remedies for animals. <laughs> so I do talk about safety um, in this little guide, and then you've got some really wonderful broad use remedies too. So I'd, I'd like to invite you to pick those up. All right, so let's talk about different kinds of emotional trauma when it comes to grief. So first of all, when it happens right away, there's some shock, there's some trauma, um, especially when it happens suddenly and unexpectedly. And in this case, I just want to say that lemon balm, uh, Roman chamomile, uh, sweet marjoram, lavender, those are four oils that can be very, very helpful uh, when there's shock involved or some trauma or it just happened and um, very calming and very, very soothing. Uh, next up, I want to talk about courage. So there's this feeling after something has happened and you've lost somebody or an animal um, that you just, or, or maybe you have to go take an animal down to the vet like I had to, and courage is really needed. Well, my favorite for courage is laurel leaf. Laurel leaf is very, very powerful when it comes to um, helping engender feelings of empowerment um, and protection and again courageousness so sometimes we have to do things we don't want to do moving through grief is something that we may not want to do and we have to do because you can't just stay in the same place all the time uh, next up uh, i want to talk about just giving yourself a connection to joy and hope now when somebody you love is gone suddenly especially all of a sudden uh, where's your joy where's your hope it's really easy to start feeling depressed and down and um, one of my favorites for this situation is tangerine tangerine it can be really helpful for connecting to joy and hope and so can neroli by the way um, if you have angry feelings, my favorite feelings, if you're working through that anger stage, cinnamon, patchouli, uh, some of the cedar woods, they're very, very grounding and beautiful and really helpful for um, that feeling of just anger, like what just happened. So then there's the brain fog. <laughs> you know, when, when something tragic happens, uh, sometimes we're just kind of walking around in this fog, right? Well, rosemary and sage are two that I like to turn to for that. Laurel leaf is also helpful for brain fog. And then I'm gonna just run down a list of my favorite uh, herbs for anti-depression. And obviously these are not medications and I'm not a medical doctor. When you smell a certain scent, it can uplift you to an extent and it can bring you to a higher place. And these oils are helpful for that. So two of my favorites are rose, 
Rose is calming and Rose has a direct affinity to the heart, both the energetic heart and the physical heart. And it can just help you open up and not close in. We're either closing in or we're opening up. And Rose is really helpful for the expansion. So I love Rose. Neroli is exceptionally helpful helpful for emotional support too. Uh, patchouli is grounding and helichrysum helps us to heal those emotional wounds. So with all that said, I've got a little roller bottle here and I've got the little roller part and I've got a lid and I created a little blend for this friend of mine and I'm really hoping that it will help. Um, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take laurel leaf, and again, laurel leaf is wonderful for courage and protection, and I'm going to drop in three drops, okay? And then I'm going to take two drops of cinnamon bark, okay? By the way, you don't want to use too much cinnamon bark, especially in a roller bottle, which is going on your skin, because um, it can sensitize the skin. I think the maximum dilution for cinnamon bark is 0.4%. Um, so, But do some research on that, because I'm working off the top of my mind. I thought I would just mention that. Um, and then rose. We're going to use two drops of rose. Rose is wonderful. I just love it. And by the way, if you're tempted to just create a rose roller bottle blend, I would probably go with um, my 2% dilution because rose is super powerful. This blend, we're going to end up with about a 7% or so, uh, maybe 5 I guess this is about a 5% dilution. I had made some adjustments, but um, you can go up to a 10% if if as long as the essential oils are safe in it. But again, I prefer to start with, you know, right around a two to five percent. Some people are very sensitive to scents. Okay. Next up is tangerine. And again, tangerine just gives you joy and hope. And I think this friend of mine really needs this. So we're going to drop in two drops of tangerine. Okay. And then next up, we're going to do some patchouli beautiful and grounding. And you know, I know not everybody likes patchouli, but when you use patchouli in a blend, it softens and it doesn't, it actually holds the other scents in really well. And it's really helpful. Um, and it, you don't smell it <laughs> when it's combined with other essential oils. And then we're going to do one drop of grounding frankincense. Just gorgeous. Now I'm going to take my fractionated coconut oil. I have a handy little pipette here, and I am going to fill my 10 milliliter roller bottle. Okay. It's roughly three mils, but it's going to need a little bit more here. And I'm going to add even a little bit more. Okay, here we are. Now I'm going to pop my roller top on. Just give that a good little wipe. Shake it up really well. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> the reason you want to shake it up really well is because uh, the, it takes the, the essential oils a moment to disperse. So uh, shaking is very, very helpful for this. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little sample rub. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Okay, this is a wonderful blend. Glad I'm sharing it here with you. <laughs> and uh, enjoy. I'm going to go label it for her now and uh, yes, hope she loves it. All right, that is an essential oil blend for grief and a little bit about why the essential oils work for grieving and just a little bit. I could talk about this actually for two hours, but uh, obviously we don't have that amount of time. Once again, I'm Heidi Villegas with Healing Harvest Homestead. Don't forget to pick up your free gifts from me. Here's an uh, animal herbal remedy guide, five great recipes, your fall diffuser blends, uh, recipes that are wonderful for your house. I also have an herbal remedy guide and a cheat sheet 
sheet that you might like too. All right, I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. Please comment below if you did. I really appreciate the likes and the comments. Thanks a lot.